Go ahead, push through. All right. All the way? Yep. 100% now. Damn. He's ready to go. Yeah, it feels way better too. The pedal's not all the way up anymore. What's up guys, so we got some more work done on the STI today. Emilio came by and he brought over a uh, WRX manual throttle cable. Uh, we kind of just got a whole bunch of stuff done, didn't go into much detail, so now that everything um, that we did today is done, just gonna go over it real quick. So as you can tell also, we got the intercooler pipe for the cold side redid. Um, instead of going up and over, um, we made it go down and around and cleaned it up a lot. And uh, that's looking way better. Now the stock bumper will fit back on the car and that's ready to go. And we spent most of the day working on that throttle cable. So we took the factory STI throttle pedal out and then we installed this 04 WRX throttle pedal. Um, it uses a manual throttle cable, which is what we need. And all we had to do to install it was there was already two holes, these two nuts right here, trying to point to them, this bottom nut and this top nut, there was already two holes um, already drilled right there from factory. We just had to open them up a little bit to fit a 12 millimeter bolt. They were a little too small, so we opened those up. They were already in place though. There is some room to stick your fingers back behind here. It's not completely all the way up against the firewall. So we were able to weasel some bolts back there. That was kind of a pain, but we got some bolts sticking in through the back and then we just ran nuts on the front. And then we got the pedal all bolted in and then it already lines up um, with a factory spot up on the firewall right here for a cable. There was already a little hole cut out in the fire blanket right here as if it was kind of, you know, meant to be there since this is the same model as a WRX except this is just the STI. So it kind of already had everything outlined to install this pedal so it really wasn't too hard. We had to drill a hole in the firewall as well and then once we did that we just got everything ran and uh, she's all bolted in and functional and it really wasn't too bad. So. That's all ready to go. We have 100% throttle now. And uh, yeah, Amelia also got the uh, oil pressure gauge installed. We ordered one a while back. So we, we just wanna keep an eye on that to make sure that we're not dropping oil pressure when we accelerate because we still need to baffle the oil pan because since the K-Series is in there sideways, I've said it many times, all the oil, um, we're worried that all the oil is gonna slosh to the back of the pan away from the pickup and uh, we just wanna make sure we have constant oil pressure. But that's pretty much what we got done today so far and right now we're getting ready to drive her over to the Chinese food store Vietnamese yeah get some food so it's gonna be the longest journey on the car to date oh yeah we added the T right there so we could run the oil pressure sensor it's all good to go though now she can make more than one PSI it won't be the one PSI STI anymore <laughs> We need the 20 pound STI. Gonna make me drive again? Yeah, bro. In case we get pulled over because there's no plates or insurance. In your car, bro. <laughs> you need the laptop. I'll take the risk. Oh, yeah, we need to plug the laptop in to watch the coolant temp. We got baby Brent over here. Yeah, that was pretty good. I just guessed. That was too. pretty good. That was, was pretty it impressive. It was pegged lean. I just gave her a little bit. Now she's idling. Smooth. That's perfect. It was not much smoother. It idles now. It too. does way better. See, it wasn't just me. That coolant temp sensor is causing a lot of issues last time we drove it. It's at 180 right now. So, I guess let's go get some, some food. And hopefully we don't get pulled over.
more than two pounds, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Tell you how much pounds we made? Yeah, I will. You can watch right here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> made four pounds, dude. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> for four pounds, it feels that real feels good, good, dude. For four pounds, that's at least WRX fast, dude. That would smoke a WRX just like that. That feels good. Why don't pull up in the gas? Imagine seventeen pounds. I want at least ten pounds. The, that's all the wastegate spring has, I guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, we gotta put that blue solenoid on. Yeah, I was gonna see if there's anything we could do to uh, give her a couple extra pounds. I mean, we could stop by O'Reilly's and get another vacuum tea and just put a tea in it. Let's do that. All We're right. not far from there. The oil pressure is still good, too. Yeah, it doesn't drop or anything. Right, let's see this oh, shit. I still need more. All right, I can sit down with it for a second. <laughs> Baby brand dog. It's the best we can do. It's just too fat up top uh, like getting up in the boost it's good so bro that felt really good at four pounds yeah and that was 10 l on the air fuel still so we're still working her out a little bit damn this thing's gonna eat dude dude it feels good it does you know where it's at dog where's the boost section they sell manual boost controllers here just gotta know where to look <laughs> Right here. Oh, yeah. oh, there they are. Damn, look at all those different boost controllers. Which one do we need, Dunk? I would just say we, these guys right here should be plenty. Yeah. We can do one, see how much it adds, and then if we do need more, we can just use both, and then that, that should be plenty. We don't need to push no, here too yeah. hard. We're just looking we for just 10? 10 pounds. At least, I just want to feel it at 10. If four feels like that, 10's mm. going to... I don't know if these will do 10. You don't I don't think? know. They might do like 8 together like one little vacuum tea like this because these about, are the tiny ones they only do about they do like two or three psi of vacuum tea what about these we just don't need this oh yeah that one the o'reilly boost controllers <laughs> we'll try actually let's start i don't want to over boost it i'd rather start small and then move up so we'll do this one this is like a medium one always cut towards yourself <laughs> we're supposed to just get food Right now we're just <laughs> upping the boost. Turning her up. <laughs> that yeah. boost gets that you, bro. It does. Would you rather eat, or would you rather have boost? Hey, we're gonna eat, and we're also letting her eat. <laughs> Everyone's eating. Everybody's tonight. eating tonight. <laughs> the oil pressure was good. The fuel, yeah, everything was good. It's only five pounds. We'll put the bigger tea on it. That thing is pulling, dude. Everyone's just gonna think we're throwing firecrackers. Right, because it's the 4th of July. So we spent too much time messing around with the STI and the restaurant we were going to is now closed. We barely missed it, but uh, we were getting ready to go find somewhere else to eat. And I thought I'd show you guys this. This is really cool. So my buddy uh, lives in the same city that I do right now and I don't see him too often we don't hang out too much anymore but a while back when I lived elsewhere we used to hang out all the time and uh, turns out he works at Papa John's now I just saw him go by I ran up to him he had to run inside real quick because he's busy at work but um this Civic actually has the original motor out of my hatch when I pulled it out to uh, put the H in it this Civic right here has the original Y7 that I pulled out of the hatch and uh, Looks like she's still running strong. So I actually picked this thing up as a shell a while back. Got it for like 600 bucks. It had a blown motor. Um, one of my old Instagram pictures, I had a picture of the block with the rod sticking out of this car. And then when I did the swap, I just had my old uh, D-Series laying around and I bought the shell, swapped it out, cleaned up the car a bit, and then I sold it to him and uh, made a little bit money that way. But uh, just thought that was cool that I ran back into the car again. And I thought you guys would like to know about that. So. That's sweet, my old motor is now delivering pizzas. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's still going. It's been like four or five years since I did that. So that's sweet. All right, so we ended up driving about 20 minutes out of the way to get some food. 
came over to Taco Star since they're 24 hours. I'm excited for some food, but uh, the STI made it. It's definitely the farthest it's been from the house since the case swap got done. Yeah. For sure. We just really put it probably. I think we got what? like 40 miles almost. Already? already? Yeah, already. Almost about the same amount of mileage as the, the EJ. Yeah. I think 10 more and we'd make it more, further than the EJ. <laughs> or nine Damn. More. Turbo's still going. Got some enchiladas, some rice and beans. Subaru made it. It's creeping over there, you see? Well, we just got some food. We're gonna head back now. We added another uh, vacuum tee before we came over here because the one that we added um, only raised it to about five PSI from four PSI. So for some reason it only did one PSI. So we just went ahead and threw another one on there and uh, we're getting ready to head back now. And I guess we'll see how much she makes with the extra vacuum tee. <laughs> all done to it it's fully stage two stage two yeah. just cob yeah nice man <laughs> little donut sized turbo <laughs> yeah a little baby guy <laughs> it's down there. Yeah, it's somewhere in there yeah, it's right i don't know subarus there. it's on the floor the subaru's already taking out other boxers yeah. <laughs> How did us just wanting to get food turn into mobbing the STI around for four hours? Bro, we went on Tuning it. Adventure, yeah, we were on an adventure. I and she got her first kill. All and right. it was another Subaru. Poor Subaru, man. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Dude. That is so awesome. She's running so good, too. There's a couple things we need to fix that aren't uh, too major. Um, I noticed when I was shifting a lot, the clutch pedal seems like it's losing pressure. feels like it might have some air bubbles in it. Um, and we know that this fitting we have right here is the wrong one. Uh, it doesn't really thread into this master cylinder very well, but we just kind of force threaded it in there with some Teflon tape. I mean, we didn't mess up the threads or anything, but we just got it as tight as we could. And it's probably 
Actually, I can't tell. It definitely has some air bubbles in there. It needs to be bled. That's all I can say. The clutch pedal goes to the floor when we're shifting and stuff. So we need to work on that a little bit. And uh, what else? It needs the radiator fans put on. It was running really cool, actually. We were just blasting the heater and uh, it stayed cool like that. We were just watching the temps with the Honda. But she is running so good. Oh yeah, an alignment. It needs an alignment really and then, bad. Think, and then after that, I think it's ready for tune. Yeah, then she's ready to go. Ready to make some power. We were gonna try to step the two-step, but uh, the laptop died on the way back, so we'll have to save that for another day. But she now has 100% throttle. The gas pedal is working way better than the old one. That one is legit. That's not gonna go anywhere. That gas pedal feels really good. And uh, yeah, we did the intercooler pipe. She's looking way better now. Definitely went on quite the adventure there. Was not expecting that but I was expecting this video to be pretty short honestly just getting little things done here and there but ended up going out driving her around and she is running great you pretty excited oh yeah man ready she for made, the dyno she made a lot more boost today yeah she peaked uh nine pounds yeah nine pounds feels good man so I can imagine like what are we gonna take it to 18 20? yeah probably something the MR2 is on 18 pounds and yeah. it made 450 yeah it's kind of I mean, she's, dude, it feels like a solid 350 right now. Right, yeah. That would be my guess. It's like 350. Yeah. It's pretty quick. Not bad for a Kyle tune on the fly. <laughs> no, you surprised me today, man. This thing was making boost, dude. She was running good. It was. Hell yeah. Well, it's going to be it for tonight, guys. It's really late. And uh, more to come on this one for sure. I have some things to get done on the hatch as well. But uh, I'll go into that another day. As always, thanks for watching.